Yeah, right. I've, I've got lots of grave hunting to do. I just found my uncle Richard, Richard Joseph Wood, my dad's brother. I'm just going to send, take him some flowers, which I've got there, um, which I'm going to put on his little grave in a minute. And here we've got some flowers. They're real, these flowers, by the way, from my great great grandmother. Jane Fletcher from Sheila in Somerset. You can hear the trains in the background. And she had a very nice grave here. Apparently, I think it was lead lined. She had a brilliant funeral with six carriages and six white horses on each one. She had all the Victorian trimmings of the day in 1905. And she's not forgotten. She's helped me find my tree. So I'm now going to go over. Hey, listen to that. <laughs> That's brilliant for the video, isn't it? Now over here, I found a Fletcher a minute ago, but I don't know whether it's connected. He's connected to Edward Fletcher and a Martha. The name rings a bell. I can't remember if I videoed it or just took photos, but it is quite an elaborate grave. I'll just pop over here again in a minute. It's got some like urns on it, which just makes me think it might be connected to Barbara. Um, not Barbara. <laughs> That's my great cousin. Um, here we got uh, Martha Fletcher, who died in 1924, aged 58, and Edward Fletcher. He died in 1928, aged 65. And they've got these lovely Harrison sons, which is the same funeral people as my um, great gran had. They, they had Harrison sons, and not everyone's got them when I look round. So it just makes me think that the, this was her could possibly have been her, um, I don't know whether it would be a, a son, it could be, it could have been a son, yeah, so um, I'm making a note of it now, just in case, see that's why Zara told me to bring my tablet with me, but the thing is, without a Wi-Fi connection, you can't go online, you can't look at your tree out here. Right, so there we are. So it's got all these little urns and things. One's fallen off there, look. That one there is actually should be on there like that. But it's fallen off. Oh, it's got red ants on it as well. We'll put it back, Sheila. Right then somebody next door right so this is um, Manor Park Cemetery which is quite large by the way um, I'll just have a look round while I'm going back so in case I see any others Right, so anyway, these are for my uncle. I'm just looking around as I'm going along. It's about up as 12 now. I can see me being in here for a while yet. Definitely. I mean, they might not all get flowers. <sighs> oh, it's great though. I don't really mind how long I stay out here or anything. Like I said, eventually I reckon I'll knock that grave down. But, um, oh yeah, there's a Louisa Fletcher there. I took a photograph of that earlier. 
born in 1901, look, just in case there's any connection at all. My video in this, at least I can show you roughly. This is just a small section of it, by the way. And these are all the, what I call the poorer graves. People who can't afford a big stone, look. And he's sharing this plot with others. I don't think he's totally alone. There we are. So that's to Richard Joseph Wood there. My uncle, my dad's brother, a wood person. And he is an H441, plot H, grave 441, which I think is others. There's a woman in front there, Dorothy Millicent Brewis, 1904 to 19, oh, 1981. Yeah, I'm not sure if she's connected to him or is just sharing the grave, the space. So there we are, Richard. That's for me and my family. I've met you several times in the when I was a young girl. Um, and of course you're my grandmother's son, my, my, my dad's brother. And I think you married a Smith girl who was connected to our family via the Smiths on the other side of the family. You weren't cousins. You weren't cousins. It wasn't that sort of connection, but the woman you married is, is one of my aunts. She's my grandmother's sister. Yeah, she's my grandmother's sister. You married my grandmother's sister. And I believe um, your family have been down in Cornwall. They're in, some are in Bridgewater and communicate with my sister Margaret there. She, for 25 years, my sister Margaret been sat and have coffee in this room with one of your, either your granddaughter or, or your daughter, I think it's your granddaughter, unaware for a long time that they were actually cousins. Isn't that weird, isn't it? Right, Richard, I've got to go off now. I might come back round yet. This is from Sheila in Somerset. Over and out.